Democrat, I want you to understand that I'm not ta when I talk about revolutionaries and communists, I don't mean the average Democrat. I don't even mean the average Democratic politician. Progressives are not necessarily communists, but there are communist revolutionaries. Revolutionary is what you need to focus on tonight. I want to warn you now, Democrats, your party is over. And I don't mean the, oh, Tea Parties and Republicans are going to beat you in November. That, eh. I mean the Democrats as we used to know them. The Democrats that were in my family growing up are over. I'm going to show you the Civil War, the video evidence of the Civil War in the Democratic Party that's happening right now. And no one in the media is exposing it. And it is dangerous what is happening. The radicals have infected the party. They have been brought in by politicians who don't really care about anything. They just want to win. They've been tolerating the revolutionaries, the Democrats have. But more importantly, the revolutionaries have been tolerating those politicians. For the moment, the radical fringe of the party is now. Just today, Van Jones was speaking at America's Future Now conference He's speaking to a group of progressives. I find this extraordinarily disturbing because I believe this man is sending a message. Listen. I think that when we look back at the history of the Obama administration, when we look back at the history of our progressive movement, that this week will mark an historic inflection point when progressives decided to be progressive again in this country. I think something shifted this week. Yes, it has. It has. This is an ominous statement coming from a revolutionary. Please go to glenbeck.com and look up Storm Reclaiming Revolution. This is his organization. He's in this. From a revolutionary. I'm sorry, but when, when, when did the Obama administration not be progressive? When? Excuse me? that they were normal? We've seen progressives. We haven't seen the actual spooky progressives yet. I think you're about to. Something has changed this week. He's right. But what the politicians don't understand, the ones who have co-opted these revolutionaries and brought them into the process, is they're dangerous. Why? Why? Well, because a lot of them have called for violent revolution in the past and then never distanced themselves from it. You cannot co-opt and lie to people who believe in something. Why is Ahmadinejad dangerous? Well, because he says he wants to wipe Israel off the face of the earth. Okay? The press and the politicians, oh, he's just saying that. Why do they say that? Because nobody in the press and nobody in Washington actually believes a damn thing, except their own image. That's it. This man is a Twelver. Look it up. Do you know what that is? It's a revolutionary so dangerous that the Ayatollah Khomeini banned Twelvers. Okay, here's the Ayatollah Khomeini, who's a revolutionary. He says, stay away from these guys, they're spooky. He didn't co-opt them because he understood they believed in the Twelfth Imam coming back. And the way to bring the Twelfth Imam back is to wash the world in blood. There are politicians like the Ayatollah Khomeini who will do revolution for power, and then there are people like this who are madmen. I never thought I'd say, we better learn something from the Ayatollah Khomeini, but here it is. The media and the politician have all of this wrong. In every single walk of life, you want to know why TV doesn't reflect you? You want to know why Washington doesn't reflect you? Because they don't understand, from the radical revolutionaries to the Islamic extremists, and yes, DOJ, they do exist, to the Tea Party movements. Just because you in Washington and you who are so out of touch with life in the media, just because you don't believe in something doesn't mean nobody else does. We do. You know why you're so confused by this show? It's because I believe in something. You don't. Tea parties believe in small government. We believe in returning to the principles of our founding fathers. We respect them. We revere them. Shoot me in the head before I stop talking about the founders. Shoot me in the head. If you try to change our government, I will stand against you. And so will millions of others. We believe in something. You in the media and most in Washington don't. The radicals that you in Washington have co-opted and brought in wearing sheep's clothing, change the pose, you get the ends. You've been using them? 
They believe in communism. They believe and have called for revolution. Uh, revolution. You're going to have to shoot them in the head. But warning, they may shoot you. They're dangerous because they believe. Karl Marx is their George Washington. You will never change their mind. And if they feel you've lied to them, they're revolutionaries. Nancy Pelosi, those are the people you should be worried about. Here's my advice. When you're dealing with people who believe in something that strongly, you take them seriously. You listen to their words, and you believe that they will follow up with what they say. Didn't we learn that lesson from Osama bin Laden? I heard his warning in 1998. I said on the air at the time, listen to him. We didn't listen. We didn't listen to the revolutionaries in Germany, the revolutionaries in Russia or Venezuela or Cuba. No, no, no. They all have one thing in common. They have all called for revolution. They want to overthrow our entire system of government, and their words say it. Why won't you believe it? As you will learn on Founding Father uh, Friday, Founding Fridays, this Friday, we're talking about James Madison. Here's what you'll learn. The revolution of 1776 was a picnic compared to what the revolutionaries of today would like to do. It's not a lot of fun. Usually millions of people die. But I'm glad to see our politicians will co-opt those people so they can have power. Fundamental transformation. It's what America is going through right now. And the progressives, the Marxist revolutionary progressives, are still not happy. I'm going to show you the beginning of that civil war inside the Democratic Party next.